the most amazing in the last year is probably the trip to Geneva because, well, I had never been to Geneva, but um, just hearing from different missions at the UN, you know, I'd already gone in thinking I'd known the difference between them and I'd been to UN headquarters because I went to undergrad in the US, but it really opened up my mind to more missions that I'd never heard of that I could possibly see myself working for. Obviously very informational, but it was also good to see how the institution works. Um, and it's also good to sort of get to know the whole course. first insight for most of us. The opportunity to visit the head office of the United Nations in Geneva, and that's very, very unique, and I think this is unique to SOAS and CISD department. We learned a lot in that. It was such a great experience. Geneva was pretty cool because they're actually inside the belly of the beast. They go to the you know, uh, 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 Palais des Nations, which is the United Nations headquarters in, in Geneva, paralleled only by what happens in New York, but all the international organizations are headquartered in Geneva. Uh, they also get to meet with the, 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 you know, the top level practitioners in the various fields, whether it's WHO, whether it's uh, the WTO, whether it's humanitarian organizations, um, sometimes the Red Cross, they're actually able to talk to these uh, practitioners who are very uh, high level, you know, at very high levels in their organizations. And the uh, International Studies and Diplomacy students actually get to host uh, a huge reception for, for diplomats, for uh, senior um, members of international organizations at the Palais. Where they had invited uh, diplomats from our respective countries and where we were then supposed to put our uh, diplomatic and you know, communication skills to test. Very exciting <laughs> and nervous. You had the chance to directly talk with people working within the UN framework. So Get their email, which is always good. <laughs> Fast and very tiring. We took a train up there um, and we were there for five days. And so it was more like a nine to five kind of thing in headquarters, sitting, listening to different missions and organizations, presenting to us asking questions, um, obviously getting everyone's cards so that you could network later. For example, the WFP talked about their experience in Afghanistan and it was interesting because otherwise you would not get uh, such an inside information. We not only got to meet people working in the UN and other organizations, but we really bonded as a group and got to know each other better and I think that was a lot of fun. And it was wonderful. I think this is the best thing about the course. It's the highlight of the course. I got to chair one of the sessions in the, at the UN and it was very nice because you, you get to meet a lot of people that are doing very amazing work and you kind of hear how they got into the UN, how they started their journey and what ways you can take to do the same. So I, I, tr I really liked it and, and just being in that surrounding, it, it gives you confidence that you can do it too. <laughs>